Guys, it's Brian Mouse with the Turn Mechanic Brand. Behind me you see a brand new pad of grass. That grass was seeded roughly 20 days ago. Most of it germinated somewhere around day six and seven. Then I continued watering it every single day for about the first 12 days. At that point, I started entering into the next phase of the baby grass. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about today. What do you do after you put down your grass seed and it starts growing? Once your new lawn space starts coming in, what comes next? So this is basically what I'm going to be doing and hopefully you'll get some tips out of this that will apply to you as well. All right, let's go over here and take a look at it. You can see here I got some products I'm going to talk to you about. But what I want you to see first, first and foremost, is the actual grass. So we're talking about ryegrass right here, which is a fast to germinate grass. Uh, if you're doing like a Kentucky bluegrass or a fescue, it's going to come in quite a bit slower, slower. But what I want you to see here is thin spots. After you've got good establishment, it's going to be very easy to see where the actual thin spots are. So that's a thin spot. This is a thin spot. So we get over here closer to the road. We've got thin spots in here and a bigger thin spot over here. Now, if you look really close, you'll notice that I put new grass seed down. I did that this morning. I did it off camera. I don't film everything I do. The trick to putting down new grass seed on an entire lawn space and getting full coverage uh, is to be very, very careful up front. But no matter how careful you are, you're almost always going to have a few thin spots. Even in my case, I've got plenty of thin, thin spots. I want this to look its best. I want it to perform its best. So I'm not going to wait and hope that I have late germination that fills out. I'm going to actually add a little bit more seed to those thin spots. And here's the little secret sauce for you. This stuff is actually easier to get to germinate than the first grass seed was because there's grass surrounding it that has already sprouted. That grass is actually trapping moisture on the soil, protecting the grass seed from wind and rain, erosion, and uh, let's call it wildlife. And when we go ahead and mow the baby grass, all of the clippings fall down onto the grass seed. You don't even have to cover this grass seed to get the, uh, let's call it the overseeded thin spot patches to germinate. It's literally just put the grass seed down on the thin spots and that's it. Technically it's not that's it because I'm going to go ahead and grab my mower now and I'm going to run over this thing with the lawnmower and trim all of the little clippings of those baby grasses and the clippings are just going to fall onto the grass seed that I just put on the ground. Now this is contrary to what a lot of people think, like you should bag your clippings right off the bat, especially because if you look really close there is uh, clumps of grass clippings sitting on that baby grass, but I contend those clumps of grass clippings that make it look slightly less tidy right now are actually providing value to the soil and to the baby root systems underground. Later on down the road, then I'll start bagging those clippings to make sure that the lawn looks its best every single time I mow. But for right now, I don't really care about that. I care about getting these baby grass blades into, uh, let's call it mature status, which is gonna take at least three to four months. What I'm also going to be doing, which I've been doing for the past week, is I'm going to be watering this grass one time per day. I'm not gonna be watering it four, five, six times per day trying to get grass seed to germinate. I'm gonna be watering it only once a day. I'm gonna be watering it quite a bit deeper on those watering sessions. I need to get those grass plants used to uh, finding water deeper in the ground and not relying on surface moisture. After a few more weeks, then I'm going to start dialing it back to watering once every couple days and then eventually once every third day. And eventually for me, my ultimate goal is to not have to water my, my lawn or my grass uh, more than one time per week. That's always been my goal and most of the time I'm able to achieve that. One of the ways that we achieve that is to encourage the densest grass stand possible. And that's where overseeding these thin spots come into play. And that's where mowing comes into play. We want to mow this baby grass as often as we possibly can. For me, I run a lawn care YouTube channel. And uh, so this is even more important to me. I'm literally going to mow this lawn space one time every single day every day. I don't anticipate cutting this grass at a golf course level, but I am going to cut it every single day. And the reason for that is because it's going to encourage a uh, tighter 
uh, leaf system closer to the ground. It's going to help crowd out weeds. It's going to protect the soil or it's going to insulate the soil from uh, evaporative loss and from hot sun once summer comes. Leaving those clippings on the ground is going to provide that, uh, that organic layer of material uh, that, I mean, it's grass. It's just dead grass clippings. It's going to insulate the soil. And because they're fresh grass clippings, they're going to mulch what soil is on the ground so that weed seeds are less likely to germinate. Now, getting into the weed seed category and the fertilization category, this is a great time to go ahead and put down your first starter fertilizer. A lot of people put a starter fertilizer down at time of seeding, but the really smart people wait until about this stage. And that's because grass seeds and all seeds of all plants have all of the nutrients in the seed itself that the plant needs for weeks after it germinates. Out in nature, nobody's putting fertilizer down because the seeds will grow on their own. You ever seen grass grow right out of the crack of a sidewalk? If you throw grass seed down into just straight sand and water it, it will germinate and grow great for about a month and then it'll start dying off because there's no nutrients in the soil. The seed itself provides the nutrients for what you see right here. After it's been growing for a couple weeks, then we need to provide what is necessary. And for me, I was going to put down a starter fertilizer. Starter fertilizers tend to have high levels of phosphorus in it along with nitrogen. The best ones tend to have a lot of potassium in them as well. But I know something that the vast majority of lawn owners don't. The soil in this lawn space right here already has extremely high levels of phosphorus in it. So I don't want to add more phosphorus to this lawn space. I personally need to add potassium. Potassium is the area that this soil is lacking. And I know that because I ran a soil test prior to seeding this spot. Almost nobody does this. If you do do it, then you're in the minority. I do have a video on why soil tests are important. I'll link to it down in the description below. They're not necessary, but they certainly can help because the vast majority of starter fertilizers out there have a lot of phosphorus. I'm not gonna be using those. I'm literally just gonna be applying potassium. I don't need extra nitrogen because I don't wanna push excessive growth. I already have nitrogen in the soil. I already have phosphorus, but I am low in potassium. So I'm gonna be putting down a sulfate of potash product, which you can just buy at a local big box store or online. I've got the product that I'm using linked down in the description below. But I also know from my soil test that I'm pretty good on almost all of the micronutrients except for iron. And iron is an ingredient that's not usually found in starter fertilizers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down an additional application of ironite right onto this lawn space to bring my iron content up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a month or so. Everything is really gonna darken up, deepen up. The potassium is gonna give uh, the grass here a boost in health, kind of like taking vitamins or just eating healthy, you know, skipping the ranch sauce on your salad. And hopefully as spring progresses towards summer, this grass is actually going to look its absolute best. Now for weed control, typically we're gonna be putting down a pre-emergent this time of year in the early parts of spring to stop weeds, but we can't do that when we're seeding a lawn. Plus we can't really spray weed killers on new grass once the weeds start developing. Now, if you do put down uh, the Scott's Built for Seeding starter fertilizer, it's gonna come with something called mesotrione in it. Mesotrione is a, uh, it's an active ingredient that is going to allow weeds to germinate and then stop, halt their photosynthesis process. So they'll, uh, they'll basically die out because they can't capture the sun's energy. But I can't put that down, or at least I don't want to put that down because that would give me way too much phosphorus in the lawn. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and put down just straight mesotrion from the Tenacity product. There are other products out there that contain mesotrion, uh, typically in the generic category. Uh, there's also one from Liquid Harvest, which I've been wanting to pick up myself, but I haven't yet. I'll link to something down below with mesotrion in it, but that's what I'm gonna be applying here to stop the weeds throughout the next month or two. Eventually, I'm gonna stop mowing this lawn every day. And I'm going to back off a little bit, but mowing patterns aren't usually the thing that people have problems with uh, who are new to seeding grass. Typically, it's the watering. And I do have an entire video on when to stop or when to change and how to water uh, grass seed and baby grass. I, I invite you to watch that video next. It's going to be linked right up here in the corner. Uh, it's a popular video here on the channel. 
And I hope if you choose to watch it, I hope it's very helpful.